Welcome viewer. In this lecture we will be discussing about the state of stress and state of strain at a point. To begin with, there are four important, very important points about the stress that we must understand. Stress is always computed at a point. So whenever we calculate stress or whenever we develop any expression for calculating stress, that particular value of stress or the expression give us the stress at a particular point not on area or volume related so it, it means stress is specified at a point the second concept is stress is a tensor quantity it is a very frequently asked question in interviews and so and we also otherwise also know that the stress is neither a scalar quantity nor a vector quantity it is a, a tensor quantity and it is tensor of order 2. Vector is also a tensor of order 1 and scalar is a tensor of order 0. The scalar only magnitude is sufficient, no additional parameter is required so that is why that is 0 order tensor. Vector it needs a direction with magnitude so it is a first order tensor and stress is a second order tensor because it needs a magnitude, direction and the plane on which the, that uh, stress is acting. State of stress represents the stress components at a point. So it means we can have number of component of stress at a point that depends on how many directions the stress is acting. And for 3D we know that there are six stress uh, components and for 2D there are three stress component and for 1D we have only one stress component it means whenever we calculate stress at any point so if we are uh, considering stress in 1d we will we get one only one component of stress at that point if we consider stress at a plane at a point in a plane then it means we uh, we will be getting uh, three component of stress at a point and if we are uh, analyzing stress in 3D at any point then it means uh, there will be six component of stress at that point. Another thing there can exist only two type of stresses at a point. It means normal stress another is shear stress. Different names such as bending stress, longitudinal stress, axial stress, twisting, twisting stress, torsional stress, transfer shear stress, transfer normal stress, and so on. The, there may be n number of names but each named stress can be classified uh, either as shear stress or as normal stress. So these are very important aspect of the stress. So the concept of stress, it is no doubt internal force. If we consider uh, any prismatic bar subjected to tensile load, the deformation is delta. Then if we take any uh, inclined plane on this, the force can be resolved in uh, two direction one is normal to plane another is uh, along the plane so normal to the plane will induce normal stress along to the along the plane will induce uh, uh, shear stress and these can be represented as shown here so when theta is zero so it is only normal stress because in that case plane will be normal to the axial direction of this uh, member or we can say it is the plane of cross section will become the plane of interest so it is only normal stress no shear component and when theta is 25 this is how we can determine the stress so if we take uh, different planes at the same point the stress remain unchanged but the two component will change so that is how we can see from uh, these two special cases at theta is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 45. The more general case of stress, uh, concept of stress can be explained like this when we consider a, a rigid body in 3D. If we take small element and then uh, if we consider this point O and then we can write down the general term stre stress that is equal to delta F by delta A. When limit delta A tends to 0. This limit is taken so that only uh, force is force is there there is no effect of the moment of this force so that is why this delta a tends to zero is taken as limit so now we can 
take the component of this stress in the three direction because one direction will be normal to the plane another two direction will be perpendicular uh, so uh, perpendicular to each other and perpendicular to this normal to the plane it means it is along the plane so the normal uh, direction uh, is known as normal stress the stress along the plane is known as uh, shear stress so it means we have uh, at any point uh, two uh, shear component and one normal component x z plane and x uh, y plane and then the components of the stresses are given like this so we can represent these this 3d state of stress at any point like this so here it is important to note uh, how we have drawn the direction of stresses because as we have discussed in our first slide that the stress uh, is a tensor quantity and it uh, uh, gives us the direction as well as the plane so a positive stress uh, is considered when the direction of the stress and the direction of the plane both are in the same either positive or negative but the direction of this plane is along x axis and direction of a plane which is opposite side of this cube is minus x axis so if we want to represent a positive stress positive tensile stress on this particular phase i have to show uh, the direction of stress in the direction of plane so direction of plane is negative x axis so direction of stress will also be negative x axis similarly we can write uh, uh, we can represent this for example that this is the direction of stress which is represented by y and this first subscript is the direction of plane so similarly here the first subscript is the direct direction of plane and second subscript is direction of stress uh, and these all are positive because the direction of stress and direction of plane both are positive so this is how we can mark the directions and we can represent these uh, six component considering the complementary shear stress which is equal and opposite uh, given by this 3 into 3 matrix and for 2d case uh, similarly we can represent uh, uh, and explain the directions uh, which we have taken here for uh, a, a stress at a point for 2d element or when we consider the biaxial state of stress or stress in 2d plane and so on so here we are use, uh, not using the subscript sometime we may use we may not even use because the direction uh, of stress is uh, no, for normal stress is known as it is perpendicular to the uh, plane and it is normal direction so that is why the second subscript is uh, first subscript is rather uh, dropped and only uh, second subscript is used we, we can also use here sigma y y sigma x x and so on now uh, if we consider the strain component similarly the strain component will also have 3 into 3 matrix and uh, we can um, represent the strain uh, if we consider for in 2d case if we consider a b c d and after the deformation that small element get distorted like this and then we can write down uh, epsilon x x which gives us how much change is there in a b because a b is now changed to a dash b dash so the strain linear strain along x axis is a dash b dash minus a b divided by a b where limit a b tends to zero because we are considering this as very very small element and so that is why it is del u by del x so it is a change in the displacement in x direction and with respect to del x so uh, uh, for epsilon y y this is how we get and the uh, shear strain is the angle uh, how much distortion has taken place it is uh, epsilon uh, phi 1 and phi 2 and given by this expressions so the, the these expressions we use to find out the strain in uh, uh, in this 2d element and similarly we can find out the strain in 3d element that will be discussed we will be discussing later on when we discuss more about 
stress and strain. So, uh, in summary, the stress is always calculated at a point. There are only two types of stresses, normal stress. Normal stress can be axial stress, bending stress, circumferential stress, hoop stress, radial stress, etc. And shear stress which can be in plane shear, transverse shear and torsional shear. The other thing, it uh, should follow double subscript notation. First uh, subscript represents plane and second subscript uh, represent direction. Uh, these all we will be requiring for developing the stresses uh, in different uh, member of uh, um, different member required for engineering purposes. So thank you, thank you for uh, uh, attending this uh, lecture. Thank you very much.